Welcome back in Good Kitten Internet. I am everybody's favorite glutton for punishment, and let's continue Faxanadu. No, I'm not going to load. Because I definitely have more money than I can afford. So, we are in the town of Victim. So I just want to show just how ludicrously overpriced it is to heal. 2,500 golds to heal. There is a magic cane that will give you magic power. When you hold the dwarf's meteorite in your hand, it will become black onyx with power inside. And let's check fish prices. 250. You would have to buy 10 packages of dried meat in order to meet treatment. Why in the world does treatment exist in this game? It's completely useless. The tax on people bad at math. Okay, so this is something I actually did not know in this game. So, this is where you can buy full plate. You can also buy a Matic, which I think I might need. I don't remember now. But, it turns out... I'm lost. My magic does not work. It was only a rumor. Sorry about that. I got this armor in exchange for a bottle. Or, if you wish, you can have it. So, it turns out that this one person changes what they say based off of what level you are. And because I'm above... is it... Above warrior or above fencer, one of those, this person gives me full plate. If I had come here at an earlier level, they would have told me about a rumor about something in a dungeon. There's nothing there. And don't worry, I'll stop by the dungeon and then promptly reload because it's not worth it. Anyway, we got armor for free. And it looks impressive. Um, do I actually need biomatic? I'm in victim. Nope, don't need it. I'm going to need things from the key shop, though. So this shop has new keys. Nello, I sell keys. What would you like? I am here to buy king and queen keys. So I need at least one king key. Now how many do I actually need? Quite a few. Cool. I'm gonna probably just fill up my inventory with king keys. I don't remember how many inventory spots I have left. Well, that answers that question. Let's just equip a potion. Oh, damn it. And buy another king key. Alright. Alright, let's head out. Welcome to our new area. So, the smoke is thicker. This is no longer mist, this is now smoke. You'll notice that these enemies are taking a lot of hits. The stupid pendant is not helpful. On the plus side, they drop bread, so I'm less concerned about, you know, getting hit. And down, and what do we have down here? So we're going to be taking this a little slower than we have been. Because the enemies are getting harder. Keep in mind, I'm wearing full plate, um, so I'm actually wearing significantly better armor than I had before. It's quickest to just trap them. Anyway. Notice how little damage I'm taking from that. Back now. Ow. Touching this thing, on the other hand, took a lot of damage. Or it took a lot of hit points out of me. 
Really use a better weapon at this point, but not getting one for a while. Alright, I don't remember if I need to go up or around. Go up first. Oh, right. More bees. That was a mistake. I meant to just hit, you know, save state. Because, you know, they didn't have enough problems with bees here. And these are basically just the zombie things, but easier. What's over here? Okay. I'm just going to look at the map. I'm there. Going up is not a bad idea, but I do need to go all the way over to the right. Okay. So, remember when he said that there was nothing in a tower? It's this tower that there's nothing in. Which we're going to go in anyway, just because. I'm treating myself. I have lemonade. Because I want lemonade. Oh, wait, no. This isn't that tower. This is a mage. Do you want to know the magic of fire? I'll teach it for you. 3,000 golds? Yes, please. I will take fire magic. Thank you very much. It's the best magic in the game. Fire. Be a magic of justice or a magic of destruction? Let's go for justice. It all depends on who uses it. And no matter what, you get hit as you leave. I remember that. So, that's what it looks like. It's an efficient form of magic. Because remember, your MP never goes up in this game. Uh, actually, come to think of it, I think I do want to fight these goobers. Because they give healing. And I can always max out on healing. From here, is it up and right? I actually don't know what's up there. Let's go to the right. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Let's try this again. Platforming elements are really the problem in this game. We have bees. Because of course we have bees. Why wouldn't we have bees, right? Ow. Yeah. Mm. Let's get healed. At least healing's plentiful here, so I'm less frustrated by everything. I'm predicting this is a dead end. Just calling it. I kind of feel bad for those enemies, because they're really easy to fight. But I don't feel bad for bees. No one should feel bad for bees in this game. No one. Okay. It looks like we're going over that tower. I totally don't remember what tower is what, by the way. Uh, let's see, what's the map say? That's the useless tower right there, I think. Let's go ahead and save state here. We're doing fairly well. That guy. Remember that one. 
mark of ace by the hole. We don't have an ace key. And this is just the person. You go straight ahead. You will get to the Tower of Mist. You defeat the dwarf who lives in the tower and get the meteorite. Come back here. You don't deserve to live. You also don't deserve to live. But I'm going to make a wild guess and say we need to be up high. Cool. We didn't. That was a waste of time. Hmm, clean boots. Don't mind if I do. Oh wait, my inventory's full, isn't it? <sighs> Maybe it's just disappear when that happens. Cool. I'm going to assume that I needed those wing boots. I remember that enemy up there. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. Should mention that. I'm just wandering around. Bees! This might be where I need to be. Mark of King. King key. Let's go ahead and save state before I waste a key. These goobers. Notice how hard they hit? Remember that I'm wearing full plate now. That's the worst part. I'm just gonna red potion now. My inventory's full anyway. Or, no it's not, because I used a key, right. Is this the one that's a useless tower? This might be the useless tower. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let me go look to see where I'm at. Yeah, this is not useless tower. Good. Ah, okay. I remember this area now. Okay, so what we want to do is not mess around with either of those dude goobers. We want to kill both of those guys. And we want to keep doing that until we actually get the correct spawn. The reason for that is that they'll drop ointment somewhere. It's much easier to go after it from the left side. There it is. All right. Let's go ahead and make another save state here. And now we are going to go this way.
I'm guessing on direction, by the way. Those guys look like aliens from, like, you know, alien. And I fell. Let me guess. I need to be up. Yep. And my ointment just ran out. Ah, uh, that was not good timing. Let's go ahead and reload. I think I need to actually be at that boss by the time the ointment runs out. Jump through. Just run. Need to go up high. Oh, I guess I can't do it. I did that about as fast as I could. Alright. This boss is obnoxious, by the way. Look at how much hit points it dealt to me. And I just elixir. That's not what I want to do. Let's try this one more time. So there is a trick to that boss. And just like these, they start becoming normal enemies, basically. I still have ointment, so it's not like that hurt. Now ointment's gonna run out here, though. Which is fine. That's weird. Ointment ran out in the same spot, even though I took longer, for sure. Alright. Here's where I'm going to save state. So. Basically... I need to trap this boss in a corner, is what it boils down to. <sighs> I shouldn't have jumped. This is why I save stated. Alright, I'm gonna eat a hit no matter what I do. Stand still. Just go like this. Get a little closer. Nope. Too close. Right? Actually, wait. Doesn't do anything against this boss, eh? Doesn't do anything. What in the world's the point of the hourglass then? If so, it works partially on bosses, is what it is. Ugh, already, wasn't it that you're just supposed to trap it in the corner? <sighs> okay. I see how. I mean, I'm right. <sighs> Except that I keep doing dumb things like that. I mean, I know I'm doing this at less than half health. That does not help. Okay. So I have to time it where rather than when they're about to bounce to the left, I hit them, which will cause them to turn around and go back to the right again. That's the trick that I'm trying to do. be so much easier if I actually had hit points. Like that. I used to be so much better at this. Like that. There we go. That was the pattern I was trying to do. There we go. And... I've got the Black Onyx. 
We have the meteorite now. We have actually completed some plot. Now, how the hell am I going to get out of here and live? I have no idea. I'm just going to save state again. I do have my... Whatchamacallit? Um, magic still. Is there even anything else here? There's an elixir. Interesting. Why in the world would I go after that? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll show it, or at least attempt to. I don't even know how well I'm going to be able to reach there because of that. Yeah, kind of what I thought was going to happen. I'm looking at the map of this place, and I couldn't fly up even if I wanted. Oh, well, I can. I would just require, you know, wing boots that I don't have. Okay. Alright, let's save here. There is an elixir. So what I may end up doing is using the elixir to get through here, because, um... Notice how well that works against the dragon? So much easier to fight that way. Unfortunately, that means that I just wasted my magic, and if I wanted to go after the elixir, that's in a different spot. Let's save state and try it. Because there's the dragon here, where one hit causes me to elixir up. But that's fine. Notice it slams the dragon all the way over. these goobers again. The problem being that I have to take those hits. Yeah. That's why I was thinking that it wasn't worth trying. Oh. Yeah, you know what? It's not worth trying to go through that. Let's just not. Honestly, going after ointment with these two would not be a terrible plan right now. Because I have to make it out of here still. Really? gonna go this way. Pretty sure this is just to let you get out quicker. Didn't realize he was right in front of me. We're out. I have like three hit points. These bees can kill me. Luckily, I can kill them right back. Okay. Now we need to go back to where we w we found that person, which was over to the left. That was not intentional, by the way, the magic. I have zero hit points. Those things give hit points, though. If I can fight this goober without dying, getting hit, I can fight this. Just need to let it be on the other side of me. I'm gonna time it. Like this. There! I have hit points again. Not many. A few is all I need, right? You know what? I bet I can fight this thing multiple times and get back up my hit points.
Yeah, this makes sense, right? Right? I mean, I'm talking to myself, so who knows? Who knows if anything makes sense? Nothing makes sense when you're in the Misty Lands. I fell. Oh well, that's as much as I'm doing then. Of course. Enemies I've been fighting for half the game, and they're beating me up. Cool. That's where I can get wing boots. It's probably worth trying to kill them to get a pair of wing boots. Wing boots are expensive, and I have inventory space. Blum, blum, blum. Blum, 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 blum. That's worth a safe state, right? Give me something with healing again. You do not have healing. You have healing. You actually can't do that. Okay, this is back at the start. I can deal with being back at the start. Especially with the free healing. Wait, I don't need the free healing. Just dawned on me. I'm gonna be needing to restore my magic anyway. I'm already buying fish. Let's just get some fish. My inventory's full. Let's sell a key. Do I even need a jack key for the rest of the game? Let me find out really fast. Because I'm not too far from the end of the game at this point. Nope. I have too many keys. Well, that's easy enough. Let's sell those keys. I keep trying to hit B or A on my controller. I can't sell jack keys because they don't buy sell them. I have spots in my inventory permanently full, don't I? Cool. I would have to walk back to... Where was the last hound I had that actually sold jack keys? That Maskin, or is it earlier than Maskin? It's Maskin. I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it off camera because I need the inventory space, so I will be back. Selling them keys. Notice how few hit points I have to get all the way back to Maskin. Eat the section so much. I'm gonna double check to see if I need any queen keys also. And we're back. Ugh. Let me go ahead and heal up after that set of decide. Oh, that's right. I only need to magic up because there's healing immediately outside of here. Okay. I'm magicked up. Um, I also sold an hourglass just because my inventory was a little on the full side. As a result, that's my inventory now. I'm also going to be selling the Queen Key, because I don't need any more of those, it turns out. Queen Key. And I'm going to pick up King Key. I did have to use the Wing Boots in order to get back, which is a good thing I picked those up, because I completely forgot about that. Let's pick up a King. These keys are really expensive, but I am going to need the king keys, so. Alright. I think we're actually set now. And I can actually proceed with the game. Okay. So yeah, these guys give enough healing where I'm not too concerned about being low.
me. I'm full healed. Oh, I think we're a crusader now. Yeah, we're a crusader now and level up's another 800 XP. I would have bought a uh, elixir. I didn't need one. Good for you. Okay, I need to remember where to go from here. All right. Okay. So we need to get back over to Okay, I see where I need to go. Cool, I'm on the right direct path. And stupid bees! At least I have healing from this. Come on back. Thank you. Didn't want it to slip. You can just fall down. I just need to go up here. Oh, this is the Worthless Tower. I should at least show it to you. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, so it wastes a King Key, which I definitely don't want to do. Heh, <laughs> King Key. Hee <laughs> hee. So, there's new types of enemies in here. I can't really do much of anything with that enemy. So these are Medusa, I think? Not sure. That's it. That's the entire dungeon. There's nothing else here. I really don't understand the point of this dungeon in this game. Also, those things are relatively pretty. Only relatively. So there is a random drop up there. The problem is that the random drop appears in the top left corner. So, you know, up here, which it's impossible to kill both of the enemies on the screen with it. So that's why this is the worthless dungeon, and I'm just going to reload my save state because that's not worth anything. There's no reason for me to go there. Good enough. I don't remember if I need to go high or low here. Hi. Okay. Good. I feel really bad for those enemies, but I'm glad they're there because I need them. Because bees! Hi, healing. Is that the last healing? No, okay, good. Oh, no, no, damn it. Oh, well. I'll just go back, heal. I'm going to be doing a lot more healing. Letting it pass over my head, so I trap it on this side. Back forth. I am going to heal up, because I'm going to need it. I can pass over my head from here. I can run into it for no reason. Which negates the useful part of the healing part. Ugh. I'll be very happy when I'm done with this section of the game. Which I'm almost done with this section of the game, by the way. Um, we're past the halfway point on the game. This fact that is not that long of a game. Good enough. Save stating. Do not want to mess around with this. This is not a game that I'm an expert on or anything. Although I have actually done low magic challenge this game. That's poison, isn't it?
Yep. This game is a troll. Anyway, remember that this person wanted us to talk to them when we had the Onyx. As long as there are crazed dwarves, the deadly threat of the meteorite will loom over the elves. Use this key to open the next door to get to conflate. Fight for the elves. Now we have the ace key. So as a result, we are in fact the ones with the keys to everybody who's asexual. That's the way this works, right? Go away. Anyway, so this is the point where like any walkthrough, and I remember dealing with this, will warn that you need two king keys in your inventory. Why do I only have one king key? He replaced my... Replaced the last item of my inventory was, was a king key. One moment. I will fix this. Alright, back. So we are going to equip an item. We're going to equip an item, then run into the stupid enemy. One moment. Uh, so RetroArc actually has the ability to undo save state. Which is nice. Uh, and I... Mm -hmm. Load state. Item. Equip an item. Doesn't matter which. So I need to swap it. I give keys to travelers like yourself. You have an ace key, don't you? Ah, so this person gives an ace key again. Okay. Now I have two king, one ace. Like I'm supposed to. <sighs> Game. Alright, let's go. Welcome to the new music. And also, welcome to the world tree. This is the third section of the game. Let me take a glance to see if there's any secrets that I need to worry about. Uh, there's something all the way over on the right. Okay. I don't know if I have to worry about it, just that there is a secret. See, this is a dramatic um, decrease in difficulty in my mind. Just because of how obnoxious the previous Misty section was. Alright, so there is a random spawn of something over on the right. I think it's ointment? Yeah, it's ointment. So I might as well try to get it. Since random spawns are not that uncommon, I'm not too concerned about cheesing it a little. It's a 25% chance, so it's likely to happen within four. There it is. It was hidden. Um, save stating. See if there's any other weird items. Yes, there is. Okay. Don't know what that. Oh, it's a po poison. Oh, right, I still have ointment up, which means I can just ignore those goobers. That's the poison I'm referring to. That's okay. I can just fight this thing. That's fine. Because, I remember right, where I want to go is right over here. Welcome to the town of Conflate. The town is surrounded by doors for protection. 
I am a guardian of the guru. He is an important person. So, it's got meat. 350 gold. I don't need it right now. I don't remember off the top of my head what else is here. Although, if I'm glancing at the guide right, there's something I specifically want to buy here. I shall give you a title. Paladin. See, we're already changing D&D &D classes. Sadly, no healing. That's unfortunate. We really need the healing. Oh man, if this game had a healing spell, it would be so much easier. And now that we have a real save, we're going to make a save state save. Treatment. You want a treatment? It's 1800 golds, but yeah, no. Seriously. It's only 13, or it's only 1050 to heal up all the way with food. This is a trading town called Conflate. What the hell are you trading with? I used to go to the town of dwarves quite often when we had business with them. Yeah, I guess that's who you'd be trading with. The town used to prosper from trading with the dwarves. Yeah, well, they're all kind of crazy now. Also, there's nothing on the right side of town. But there's something here that we've needed for a long time. A giant slayer. So the English translation I thought was giant blade. Assuming because it takes a while to spend money in this game. We finally have our new weapon. So this is what the current weapon looks like. This is the new weapon. I am using a giant dinner fork. Anyway, how are we doing on items? Um, we're okay. Wing boots would be the only thing I can pick up that might make sense. So I'm gonna do that. So yeah, the reason why you need the king keys is that you notice that there was no key seller here. So you kind of need to come in with everything that you have. That's are so expensive. Also, notice that we can finally buy the magic shield that we already have. Or quite a bit more. Alright. Now, honestly, at this point, I think dying might have actually been a better idea. Because we have a lot of things and not a lot of money. But you know what? We're going to continue on. I will pick up a little bit of food to heal up all the way. I know I could just cheese the enemy out front, but I don't feel like it. We're at 43 minutes and we reached a new town, so let's continue on. Because there's something we need here. have more reach with this, marginally. Giant squids! For food! Anyway, we have to deal with the stupid poison constantly in this area. You can't jump over it, by the way. It's impossible to get through it. I mean, you even saw me got hit by it with, um, whatchamacallit, uh, um, what was I saying? Um, while I had ointment up. It's impossible to avoid. Uh, this might need a key? Yeah, it needs a king key. And we want to do this. Trust me. Unfortunately, fighting these goobers. Hard to not get hit. I can do better than that. Hold on. Ah, not what I wanted to have happen. There we go. Just need to be more patient. Because they have to... That yellow column that I'm attacking, they have to fall there.
There we go. Okay, let's save state because there's a dwarf back here. Specifically, that one. Remember us fighting this one before? Do I remember us fighting this one before? Yes, but that doesn't mean I have the correct muscle memory, apparently. Alright, so what we want to do is get them stuck on the right side. Ow. Damn it. I mean, it's wrong. There we go. This is what we want. I've got the battle helmet. Where is that at? Notice it's nowhere. So there's a reason why we need to do that. We're basically picking up parts. We have to get the rest of the parts in order to be able to actually equip it, unfortunately. Please cannonball off and not into me. Okay, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, this is before I fought the enemy. Damn it. One moment. Let's try this again, shall we? Doing a much better job, at least. And you can tell how much better this weapon is by how little that took, by comparison. Well, now I'm actually full on health. I hate how the coins end up wrapping around down there that I can't reach it. And I'm going to save state. So yeah, we need three parts for that uh, piece of equipment. We're just going to fall down here. Go. Yeah, we're actually fully healed right now. Not that that's going to take, going to last pretty much longer, but you know. got those things to deal with. But anyway, we needed to pick that up. Now that we have that, we can continue on. I'm intentionally not grabbing the healing because I have to touch the poison. Now I can heal back up. Problem solved. I smart. As I fall down there. All right, now we're going to head up. Mostly because we don't have anywhere else to go. Mark of King. So this is where we have our second King key. I've used key. Ow. Cannonballed into my face. those things, which are not at all difficult. I wonder if we can fly up there to do anything useful. gonna save state and find out because I don't actually know a lot of things about this area. So I do have those wing boots. Let's find out. Nope. That was a waste. This is why we have save states, right? I'm assuming falling would be bad. I should probably check that, shouldn't I? Poison? 
other entrance. I don't remember if we needed to do that or not. There's a hourglass there. Nothing over there. I'm going to assume no. It might actually be a shortcut, but I'm not going to bother. Let's go inside. I prefer indoors. Now I'm trying to remember, am I even going in the right way? actually faster to fall in. Oh well. I guess I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, the only thing you have to really dodge is the poison. Yeah, because that door actually takes you to the same area that I was just in. I saw the hourglass there before. Because my inventory is full. My inventory is not full though. So apparently there's a chance that something can spawn there. There's an hourglass. This time. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but sure. Apparently a Matic can spawn there, according to this guide. Ah, uh, okay. Not there. Let's load again, and I will force the respawn. So the reason why is not for fighting that thing. It's actually this screen. That there is actually a chance of a Matic spawning here. But it's actually hard to get that thing to fall down, maybe? Yep. There's the Maddox spawn. I'd have to use wing boots to get it, and I don't even know if there's anything useful for a Maddox to do at this point. It's a weird dungeon. You know what? I can buy wing boots. I can't buy a Maddox. This may be a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Stupid wing boots. They take massive amounts of damage from everything. I have no idea where I'm going at this point, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna die. No, I do not want to use that. And I'm going to wait on the wing boots. Wait the rest of the 10 seconds out. Oh, 
All right. I'm going to get hit by that no matter what. Cool. This thing's gonna hit me no matter what. Again. I need to be up or down. The heck was that thing? I thought it was rub. There is ointment up there. Okay. What is exactly is up here? What do I care about getting? Alright, it's been such a long time since I've played this game that I actually need to look at maps to figure out anything. I should be going down first. this thing. I'm really low on hit points, but... Alright. Want it to bounce over to this wall. This is our next thing. I've got the battle suit. Of course, you can't get that money. And we can now equip battle suit. Or not. We can't equip it until we have the third and final piece of that set. I actually don't know what direction I'm going. Oh, I need to go up. is what we need. Also, I love how that's just healing. Now we have the magical rod. The magical rod, was mentioned earlier, gives us magic power. Increased magic power, that is. I'm gonna use this to heal, because I can. And it's not gonna take me much effort to do. Healing is so scarce, I don't really wanna use a red potion here. should be enough. Uh, I'll do one more. Don't want to mess around with it. Okay. Let's go ahead and save state. We're at about an hour at this point. Come on. Now we can go back around and up. Stairs. Are you kidding me? How the heck am I supposed to get back up there? Oi!
Technically dying would be quicker at this point, but I can't buy elixirs, so I'd rather not. Please just jump, thank you. Alright, save state here. How the heck am I going to time this? I mean, if I had wing boots, I can do something about that. I wonder if the Matic's even useful for anything at this point of the game. It might just be stuck in my inventory forever now. Uh, there. I was just not jumping from the right angle. Ow. How am I supposed to get through that? ointment that would work. Uh, maybe... That works. must slowly tap up on the ladder until you reach the point where th ah that's how you're supposed to do it i'm gonna do it that way that way i don't waste the um okay there's, there's apparently like that that's how you're supposed to do it that's stupid really dumb, but okay. I made it up there, that's the important part. Apparently the alien looking things are wolfmen. Cool. What am I supposed to- Oh, there's wing boots up there. That's what that is. Deluge works better because it can actually hit lower. How the heck am I going to get up there? I am taking a lot of damage. Elixiring for that. Alright, I need to get those wing boots. How do I jump from there? Let's um let's do some science. Nope. Nope. Oh, it's gloves, not wing boots. Never mind. Not worth it. Let's 
So apparently the wing boots are in this room. Cool. Anyway, get them over to there where it's safe for me to walk across. Yeah, apparently it takes wing boots to get up there. Uh, where are they supposed to spawn if they're going to? Oh, it's up a bit. Okay. Anyway, I can do that better because I took a lot of damage. Let's try that again. Come over here. Walk over. Gotta be down on this thing. Ah, yeah. Uh, I wanted hit points, but all. So yeah, apparently if I kill both of these goobers, there's a chance of getting wing boots, and I should get a pair of wing boots. I don't have any. There it is. Hooray. Inventory, I have plenty. I am holding wing boots. Good for you. I'm going to assume that going up is better. Just save state here, and then find out if I really needed to go up. Yes, I did. <sighs> Load state. Remember, I'm less frustrated by this section of the game than the stupid, um... Whatchamacallit, uh... Mist area. And we are at a new town. This is the town of Daybreak. Isn't this the last town of the game? I can't remember now, but we're going to be stopping here. I'm just going to check keys and so on. They only sell king and queen. I don't know how many king I need, probably multiple. What do you have for equipment? You have Tilte, which is a relatively powerful magic that I can't afford, may I note. That's how uh, this place is. Check out the bar. I've not seen you for a while. You'll find a magic cane when you get above the Tower of Pillar. Castle of Dartmoor. This is a typo. It's actually supposed to be Darkmoor. As in the same castle name as was in Might and Magic 6 and in earlier Might and Magic. It's a reference. It's a complex maze. Well, it's a good thing that we live in the year 2020 where I can look these things up. Also, I knew. Hmm. There's a nurse with the fish. The Guru of Conflate has the Ring of Dwarves. Dried meat to bring energy for 500 golds. Wait, does that mean I have to go back to Conflate? Did I seriously mess that up? Or is that something that I only get after a bit? I will meditate with you. It means we haven't even leveled up. Nope. Paladin lasts forever. Forever. You are the famous warrior. You're as good looking as I've heard. Did you find the magic cane? Yes, I have it in my inventory, don't I? Yeah. And then this is back into evil bee land. So we are going to stop here. I will talk to you next time, internet. Bye. <laughs>